Hi friends, in this video we will be seeing the Drupal interface. So well, uh, this is how exactly uh, the page looks like just next after the Drupal installation. Uh, and uh, here uh, in our previous video we just saw the Drupal installation procedure and here in this video we will be seeing few important key areas and few important options which is uh, we need to familiarize with it while working on the Drupal website. Uh, so just let's start this video. Uh, the first and foremost uh, important key area is about this our administrative menu uh, and this menu is actually comprised of a two rows the choices on the top are like manage shortcuts and uh, admin so well manage is something uh, which uh, in, uh, which just collapses this the uh, extra options so called this uh, links content structure appearance extent configuration people reports help and all and uh, shortcut is about which directly gives a uh, two links uh, so called of adding a content to our website and which will list out all the contents inclu uh, in included in our website and the admin admin is actually the logged in user's name uh, and uh, here you can see when i clicked on uh, admin it's telling view profile edit profile and logout so these are the three links which is coming up uh, next to the admin and here one thing we just need to note it down that this menu is only visible and accessible to a user with administrative permissions only if the logged in user doesn't have this administrative permissions then this menu will not appear at all and uh, more about this links the content structure appearance extent configuration people reports and the help so more about this menu we will be seeing it uh, shortly and the next important key area is about our primary menu and the secondary menu so here i haven't created any of the content this is a fresh page just next after the installation so let me show you one of the website which i have created and i have added a few contents as well in this website so you can see this home and about us so this section is about the primary menu and here you can see two links uh, that is a my account and a logout so this is about the secondary menu and uh, the secondary menu is also called as a user account menu why because the links which is involved is about the profile related uh, menus like if I, uh, here if i just click on a my account so it would be just showing the user's name so well here the username for this drupal website is something like admin i have just given it while doing the drupal installation so that is what it's showing here and the next link is about a logout so these are the two important uh, menus the primary menu and the secondary menu now just uh, let's see the um, uh, this uh, administrative menu links that is a content structure so let uh, just uh, let's uh, see it in a detail so the first one comes is about the content so well this content link will allow us to create and organize the content for our website so here you can see the uh, tabs contents comments and uh, files so this will include our own content and also user generated content as well such as the comments and the uploaded files and so on if i just come down here you can see uh, add content one link is also there if i just click on it it will be asking the content type so by using which content type uh, you want to create a content so here with the drupal installation we have a two um, uh, default content types so called article and a basic page so here article we usually use this content type for the time sensitive contents like a news press or a blogs and all and the basic page content type we usually use for or uh, to create a, some uh, static contents so these are the two content types just let's go back and come down here you can see that um, few contents is being um, uh, uh, that listed contents would be listed out it here and the next tab is about the comments so well in the comment section you can see uh, there are no comments available why because we haven't uh, published any of the content and there is no comments also in this website so it's showing a empty and if you have a multiple kind of listed comments no then we can just uh, filter it out that option also we have it here with the subject or with the author name or with the language and uh, here you can see published comments and unapproved comments that also been there here and while uh, going to the file here uh, like we have one image that is a front page watch 
jpg which we have used it so which and all is used in our website so that used to get just listed out out here and here also we have a filtering option if we have a, a kind of a, a multiple a list of a files and we can just filter it out by the file name or with the format of the file uh, or the extension of that uh, file and uh, with the status as well like whether it is a temporary or permanent so by using any of the options we can just filter it out and we can just uh, find out our required file from here so this is about the content now just let's go to the structure well this structure link allows us to create a, a new menus different views blogs and also other content types so if you just go here you can see the block layout comment types contact forms content types display modes menus taxonomy views and all so this everything will be seen in detail in our uh, coming videos and uh, this thing I just wanted to show that in a structure if you just go to a block layout here you can see one demonstrate block regions so inside a bracket it is written as a olivero so this is something a theme which is in uh, which is been uh, set with the Drupal core installation so if I just click on it here and here you can see all the regions like in our Drupal website which and all regions it has so as we have discussed the uh, primary menu and the secondary menu and this is a section of a hero full width uh, this is a section of a social bar and this is a section of a highlighted uh, uh, kind of titles and this is a section of breadcrumb so uh, here a uh, breadcrumb is something which gives the uh, exact location to the users um, and here this is a content area content above content content below and this is a section of the sidebar and here below we have a footer so this all kind of in detail uh, region uh, regions they have given it uh, given it out here and in this uh, section you can see the various blocks and uh, like all the blocks where and all it is being placed so that everything we have it here header primary menu secondary menu so this is all about this uh, this structure block layout and the next comes is about the appearance so appearance is something where uh, we can change the complete look and feel of our site using a so called themes so here as i have told um, olivero this is something a uh, default theme which has been set for this drupal and we can find out a uh, many more themes uh, from here there are a hundred of as of now here we can just see only two themes that is olivero and claro but this 10 or uh, drupal version but there are hundred of free open source and a premium themes are available which you we can download and we can use it for our website and uh, here you can see the appearance uh, update uh, that also we can just find it out here with the Drupal core uh, and here you can see the 10.0.3 uh, is also recommended one of the version and in the settings we can just uh, do a kind of uh, customize to our um, uh, to our site so here use the logo supplied by theme so that uh, uh, like one logo is supplied by theme that also we can use or if we don't want we can just upload our logo image what we want so that is also uh, one of the possibilities so that's kind of all things we can just uh, customize it logo image or a fav icon or using the pictures in a post so that kind of all uh, customizations we have it under uh, appearance so the next link comes is about the extent well uh, extent uh, this link is used to uh, extend the functionality in our website through the modules so if i just click on this uh, link and here you can see the few modules were there uh, for few modules has already been checked in which says that it's already activated in our websites so if you want extra modules uh, to just activate in our website so that we can just uh, check in that and we can click on the install so that particular model being get uh, installed in our uh, website so that kind of functionality will be start working in our on our websites and here you can see the list is also provided for that modules and uh, then in the next tab some update tab is present so here we can just see the installed versions of our drupal and the recommended versions which is just been released that is 10.0.3 and uh, in this uninstall tab here we can just find 
uh, all the modules which end all we just want to uninstall so if i say just this automated crone if i don't want then i'll just click on it and uh, after just selecting that uh, checkbox i will just click on uninstall so that particular model been get uninstalled from my website so this is all about the extend link and the next comes is about the configuration link well uh, this configuration lets us to configure um, literally every behavioral aspects of uh, our websites uh, so here you can see if i just open the configuration link you can see the people option where we can just configure the account settings um, including fields and all and here in under the system like basic site setting also we can just configure it by changing the site name email passwords and all so it's it's something where we can just change every behavioral aspects of our site so just go through this this content authoring user interface developments and where we can just configure the performance we can clear out a caches and uh, here under the media like few file systems image styles image toolkit so uh, this is something in detail uh, we can just um, uh, uh, in detail we can just we will be seeing in our um, coming videos so this is something in short I'm just telling uh, the all ab about all the links and the next links comes is about the people link well, uh, this people link includes the uh, includes the uh, uh, tabs like a list, permissions, roles, and the role setting. Well, this will allow us to con configure the roles and the permissions uh, to uh, to our users on our site, and we can create a new users as well. Here you can see this add user button. So by just clicking on it, we can just add a users in our site, and we can give a I mean uh, we can give a particular role also to them. Uh, so that and all can be done in this people link and the next tab if you just go to a permissions here you can see uh, the um, a specific permissions also we can give to a specific users so here let's say uh, if I just want to give a administer block permission to anonymous users so I'll just click on it and I'll just uh, hit the uh, save button at the end of the uh, end of the this um, page it's like save permission so this also we can do it and here if you just observe the all permissions uh, is by default administrator is having it so we can't uncheck also that thing so administrator will be having all kind of permissions but for the other users we can just um, we just we can just manage by ourselves we can give up uh, particular permissions to them or we can just remove the permissions from the particular users so that at all can be handled from here and the next comes is about the rules so here we can just add a few roles and we can just assign those roles to a particular user so that that everything can be handled it out here and the next comes is about a role setting so where here uh, here only administrator role only one is there why because as of now I haven't created any of the users and haven't assigned any of the permissions to anyone so uh, so this is about the uh, people and the next comes is about the report so this e this report link um, is a very useful why because uh, it under this link uh, here we can see the option so called status report available updates recent log message filled list top accessed denied errors page not found errors search phrases view plugins so by just naming we can just uh, get to know that this report is something where it tells about the uh, report status and and which will just notify us with the available updates and which will show up log messages and all so this is i found a very useful whenever we are running in our websites and the next link comes is about the help so well this help link is a uh, is literally connects us with the official documentation for a Drupal and this will include both the core documentation and also model specific um, help so this is something community generated so here if we just go we can just get to know more info on the module overviews and also let's say automated cron I just clicked on it so here we can just find it out the in detailed uh, info so this is something very useful I would like to tell this is a community generated where we can just go through the documentation of this uh, uh, so that is there under this help link and if I just go to a website so this is a other Drupal website where we haven't created any of the contents here if you just observe wherever I am hovering in whichever regions I am hovering this pencil icon is coming up out here correct 
so this uh, like uh, this pencil icon is coming because this is a new functionality which is populating out here it allows for a quick edit for all the editable uh, regions and um, with with the easier if i just click on it directly i can just go to that block and i can configure it or i can remove it or i can edit uh, those particular block so it will be easily uh, be we can just configure we can customize it so with that i will end this uh, video and i urge you to take the time to get very familiar with the drupal interface especially this user navigation through the administration menu uh, yourself thoroughly and uh, familiarize yourself with all the options available in the drupal website so i will be covering uh, every aspect of this in a great detail and it will help for you to start getting exposed to a drupal terminology and an interface so starting with the very next lesson i will create a simple website project it will be exciting for you to follow up so see you soon in the next lesson thank you